Hey, this is Kevin with Crackberry.com, and today we're going to take a look at Otterbox's new case for the BlackBerry 8800. Uh, here it is. It's pretty durable, and uh, while we're looking at it, we'll also take a look at the older Otterbox case for the 8700. We can make a few comparisons. Uh, the old 8700 case is built like a tank. It's a Crackberry.com favorite. Uh, there's lots of reading you can do on the website about this case, and we'll take a look at how the they designed this case to be so strong. It's a two-piece case and it really forms a cocoon around your Blackberry. Just slide that out. So you have your phone, a front case, a back case, and it's very quick to assemble it. Putting the Blackberry inside adds a lot of durability to it and a lot of strength and it goes back together very quickly. Uh, it's definitely shock proof, drop proof, bump proof. Uh, I could probably, you know, take it out in the rain, take it on the boat, and it'll protect the berry quite well, the 8700 case. Now the 8800 case, uh, once it's all assembled, is quite durable, quite strong. You can see it's definitely uh, a more compact design, and it contours to the 8800 phone, and it totally encloses it when it's in the holster. When uh, I pull the 8800 out of the holster, there's the phone. Now this case is composed of many parts. Uh, we're going to take it apart, but you're actually typing on the keyboard that's covered with a, a thin membrane. Uh, it really offers a few levels of protection here. So let's, let's disassemble that. There's actually a nice, really nice textured rubber skin that surrounds the phone. Uh, once you pull the, the rubber skin off, then there's a plastic case around it which pulls apart. And once that's apart, there's a thin membrane which covers the whole phone. So compared to two pieces with the old case, we're running one, two, three, four, five individual pieces to the case. Uh, all of them individually seem pretty, uh, you know, I wouldn't say not durable, but they don't seem like they provide a lot of strength to it. But once they're together, they, they totally surround the berry and give it a lot of durability. Um, as long as you have it in the holster, it seems really strong. Let's, uh, let's put it together and see how, how long this takes and how this looks. So you start with the thin membrane. It's been molded, thermal molded, so it'll fit over the keyboard. We're going to get that over. You can see there's a little hole for your track ball. Surround it smooth it out over the screen. You can put more time into that if you want, but it fits together fairly easy. Uh, we'll get the back side of the case. And we'll get the front side of the case. Clip those two together. Pretty easy. Next, we're going to put it into the skin. Goes around. And that's on. And that basically does it. That's together. Uh, if you have the device like this, you know, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, Otterbox doesn't call these phones water resistant, their cases. Uh, they're sort of weatherproof. I think they would survive everyday, um, everyday use in most conditions. And if you do put this into the holster, now it's fully surrounded and it's a very durable looking case. So there you go. You have the two together. Uh, I think the next step is really to find out how strong they are. So we'll come back with some, some stress tests. 